came to America to start your college. But what was it like coming alone halfway across the world when you were 17 years old? It was a scary traveling alone, you know. I did not know anybody in California. And, you know, in those days, we didn't have uh, internet or anything like that. So my father would write to me weekly. And since he wanted to ensure the letter would get to me, he would send it by registered mail or certified mail, which meant that I had to walk over to the post office. And the post office was about two miles away from my dormitory. And one day I wrote to my dad, I said, you know, you're always sending me these letters. My shoes are getting worn. Next thing I know, he had shipped a parcel of a pair of shoes for me. I still have a couple of his letters and they were beautifully handwritten, nothing typed in those days. Did any events happen in college that made you who you are today? Um, I used to walk by and there was a rent a car company. There was an old man, he would always wave at me as I was walking. And one day he stopped me. He said, you know, what's, what's, this, what's your story? So I told him I'm desperate for money. He said, well, I tell you what, why don't you wash some cars for me at night and uh, I'll pay you for it. And one particular day I remember, he kind of dozed off in the afternoon while he was sleeping. I decided to go in the back and I kept doing a few things in the garage. But that evening when I was leaving, uh, he stopped me and he said, um, show me your pockets. I want to see what you stole. I said, I didn't steal anything. So what were you doing in the back? So we went back into the garage and he was shocked. The whole garage had been spick and span clean. All the tools were in the right place. Very clean, beautiful. He said to me, I'm so sorry. I thought you had stolen something. Nobody in my life has ever, nobody's done anything like this. So he said, from tomorrow, you'll never wash a car again. I'm promoting you to an assistant manager. What it taught me was hard work will get you somewhere. Yeah. So you have eight grandkids. What words would you want to leave for them? I would say to my grandkids, educate yourself. My parents, they would always say to us, you can have a lot of money, but you can lose your money. But education is something Nobody can steal it from you. I want you guys to work hard. This is your country right now. Yes, you will have roots in Pakistan, but this is your home. 